welcome to today's tip. Now, I don't know about you, but I have got lots and lots of washi tape. And to be honest with you, sometimes I don't really know how I can use all of these on my scrapbook pages. So I thought I would do a little tip to um, give you some ideas on how to use your washi tape. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is just really kind of making patterns that you can then use either as embellishments on your page or as in a different colored cardstock. Now, one of my favorite um, sort of cardstock that matches anything, but in particular, I love how it looks with floral pages, is some stripes. I'm totally into stripes, but the nice thing is about this, you can make your stripes any color that you like, and um, you can even match them with some patterns that might match your cardstock. So I'm just gonna pull out a few, look at me with all my hoarding going on here. I've got this cardstock and I really, really love it. And I quite like the idea of some black checkered in there. What else have I got? Could put some floral in there, but I don't think that's gonna work as well. So I'll move those aside and I'll go with some nice black and white check in there. Now what I'm gonna do is rather than go up and down, I'm actually going to make a diagonal across my page like so, just to create a little bit of something different. Now I'm leaving lots of white space and um, I am also doing it on white cardstock or paper rather than doing it on something like a scrap piece of paper that's colored. It really doesn't make the um, washi tape stand out as well. So just make sure you are doing it on white, unless of course it's a really dark colour and it won't matter, like your solid golds, they don't need to be on white as much, um, but I definitely find that if you've got something white um, inside your washi tape then you need to kind of use that. I'm just going to move this one around because it's not as straight as I want it to be. It's not perfect, but when it's on the page I think you'll find that it'll work quite well. And then all you have to do is just trim it off with a pair of scissors or you can just fold it over if you want, if you wanted a different type of edge, either way. Just make sure you get a really nice clean finish. Okay, so now I've got this lovely stripey bit of paper that I can add to my floral page here. I actually don't mind it being that way. Mm, we'll decide, I'll move it around. Okay, but this one I'm actually gonna put a couple of photographs on. So I'm just gonna move this down here. And I'm going to do two photo mats on this one, just to show you just another way, because I'm very, um, fixated should I say or getting a little bit in a design rut which I think we all do with just one photo and I know a lot of you have been writing in saying oh can you do some examples of a few more photos on one page well yes I'm sorry that I've got into a design rut but I promise you I will get out of it and thank you for writing in and saying hey can you do a little bit more more photos, give us some more ideas. So thank you for writing in. And if you do have any questions or requests, please do write in. It's so lovely to hear from you. The reason I'm doing this washi tape one is because somebody who I was speaking to on the phone said, oh, I've got loads of washi tape and I don't know what to do with it. So here we go. Here's some ideas. Okay, so there's my two photographs sitting there in the middle. I've got a little bit of movement here, so I might have those up a little bit further. I think that looks great. This is just looking a little bit too um, white. So I might go in and just add a darker color just to see how that sort of pans out. I'm gonna do every other one dark at first. And then I might go back in and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to make them all dark.
There we go, that looks a lot better. I'm a lot happier with that. For some reason, I didn't like all of that white space. And I think the reason why I didn't like that white space is if you look onto my background cardstock, you'll see that the actual background is a cream color. So that's why that white wasn't working for me. I'm just gonna tuck it behind this turquoise cardstock here because it'll help me ground my um, photographs. They will be floating around if I use that. I'm also going to make this a little bit thinner it's a bit too thick for my liking. So I'm just going to have that going along the side there and then I'm going to have my two photos here. Now with this spare bit here, what I can do if I want to, just to really bring it all nicely together, is I can just get my punch and just go all the way along. And now I've got these cool, funky little dot embellishments that can just help ground my photos in like a little cluster of embellishments. Doesn't that look super, super cute? Now, I can make those even more um, obvious by putting them on some dimension tape. I think that would look really cool. Um, and there we go. There's the use of a little bit of washi tape on a layout. I will stick that all down, um, might add a few more elements to it, but you've got the idea of what you can do there. You can put your embellishments and you can call, add some funky cardstock to your pages. Thanks so much for joining me. Just going to get rid of that turquoise and maybe add this grey in because I'm not sure I like the turquoise anymore or maybe some black. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing around with it and then you'll be able to see the final, the final one on the photograph at the end. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.